Hey there, welcome to Getting It Done North of 7. Today we're going to be changing the heating element on this dryer. So what happened was I woke up this morning, my wife says that the dryer is not heating up, our clothes aren't heating up, they're not drying. I thought, okay, we'll get this fixed. So usually when your clothes aren't heating up, the dryer is not heating up, the heating element is broken. This here is a Samsung dryer. I'm gonna tear this dryer down. I'm gonna show you step by step. We're gonna go find the element and I'll bet you it's broken and I'm gonna show it to you. And then all we have to do is order the part. Today is a Sunday, so we're not gonna get any parts today. Tomorrow I'll go get a new part and we'll put it back together. So the first thing you wanna do is unplug the dryer. I've already done that and I have my tools ready. And first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the top off and we're gonna fold it up and put it up against here. You wanna rest it up against the wall or wherever you have. So then we're gonna take the front of the dryer off, the front here with the door. Then we'll get inside and we'll tear apart some more things. So what I have here is kind of like a putty knife. So we'll open the door and I, you can see I've already worked at this one. There's a tab here, you just lift it up and there's a tab here you can push on, but I'm, on this model, I can see they just pull up. There we go. So I don't know if you can see these tabs. All it does is catch on the metal here. So you just have to pull up on it, on this model anyway, or kind of push these in, but they're kind of stiff. But they clip around here, the bottom of these tabs, and that's all you have to do is lift it up like this. Rest it against here. You may have to pull your dryer out a bit so it doesn't crash down on your fingers. And then we have the top exposed. Okay, so now we just open the door up and we have, I think it's one, two, three, four, five screws on the top. There's seven screws all together anyway. So we'll take the ones inside here first. So we'll undo these two here first that are behind the door itself. All you need is a screwdriver, Phillips head. And then there's a few up here you have to take off. I'll undo those and we'll come back. Okay, here you have a tab on this corner of the front part and this part. You have to lift this over your tabs and then continue removing the front. Okay, so I forgot about this screw here. This screw does have to come out and this should just lift out nicely. Now, before you go any further, there's a wire here that has to be disconnected. So just like that, the wire comes off. You can put it over here and you can lift your door up and put it to the side against the wall somewhere. Now the heating element is down in the right hand corner here. So under the drum, so we have to get the drum out of the way. You can see there's a wire here, it has to come undone. So we have all our electrical connections disconnected. And now we're gonna undo the screws to take the bulkhead off. So there's one, two, three, four, I think there's six. And there's also a connection here that we have to undo. Just like that. So now we're going to lift the drum and this is when you'd want to take the time to get your vacuum in here and suck up any dust and lint that is in here um, and the doors, the, the bulkhead inside here, I'll, I'll show you, but this is a good time to clean it out really good. So what you want to do now is you have a belt that goes around this drum and turns this drum. So back in here, the belt goes around, let's say like a gear on the motor and then there's an idler wheel, which moves and tightens the belt, keeps tension on the belt so that the belt will turn. So all you have to do is just move that idler wheel. It's, a, it's on a spring and it'll be fully engaged to keep the tension on it. All you have to do is pull it up this way and loosen the belt get, to get the belt off so that you can pull the drum off. And I believe the belt is off now. I'm going to grab the belt that is on the drum just to lift it. And you can just move the sides here so that you can pull this out. Just keep, it's not heavy at all. It's just some rubber here that catches on. And there you go. You can just wiggle it out and you can lift it out just like that. Okay, so here's what your dryer looks like without the drum in there in the front and top. So like I said, you want to get it all in here and vacuum everything really good out of here. So this is your blower motor and this is your heater element. The heater element is inside here. So what we have here is a voltmeter, ohm meter. So we're going to turn it on to ohms right there. And we're going to be checking for continuity. So hopefully you can see this. So if we, we have continuity, we touch these, that needle should move. You see how that needle moved? 
because we have continuity. I'm just touching the alligator clips together. So now what we're going to do is we're going to check all these connections to make sure this part here is okay, this part here, and this is your wires for your heater element. So as you can see right there, I touched both wires for the heater element and we have no continuity. Now, if, there were, if that heater element was okay, the needle would move. Now we're gonna to touch it on this part and you see how the needle moves? That's because it's okay. There's no error there. It has continuity. We'll do the same thing with this part and see how the needle moves. We're back to the heater element and you can see the needle does not move on the gauge. So that means our heater element is likely broken or no good. I'm gonna take it this apart and I'll show you. Okay, so we're gonna take our wires off of here These can be a little tough, so be careful. I shouldn't even need pliers. These are actually not bad at all. I forgot to mention, when you're, when you're disconnecting all this, make sure you take a picture so that you know which way, where the wires go, which connections. So we'll take this shell off now. There should be a screw here and a screw here. And this shell just fits inside this hole. You should be able to lift this out. Just like that. So right here, we have to get this element out, we have to take these leads out of this. So right here, there is little tabs that have to be bent. Little wee tiny tabs. One on each side. There we go. And we can just push them through. As you can see that, they just pull out now. And that's part of your heater element. Now we can take the top of this shell off and get to the heater element. And you can just open this up like this now and you can pull out your heater element. So this is our heater element and all we got to do is look for a break in here. Okay, I see it already. You see how that's broke right there? I'll show you. See how that's broke? This wire is not attached here anymore. That's all it took. So what probably happened was this overheated and it broke. And what will cause that sometimes is if you're your vent that goes outside of your dryer is full of lint. And what happens is this overheats and it breaks. Okay, we're back, it's four days later and we got the new dryer heating element, finally. So we're not gonna waste any time, we're gonna put this into the dryer and we're gonna put everything back in place and get this dryer running. <laughs> Okay, we got the heating element back in the clam and we had to manipulate a little bit the holes here to line up so we can get all the screws in properly. So we're gonna go ahead and check the continuity of this, the new heating element, make sure it's working. And there you go. So now we'll put this back into the dryer and we'll continue putting the rest of the dryer back together. Squeeze that in there. And we've got tabs that go down in here. And everything's in place now. And I'll put these screws into the clam and then we'll rewire this. Okay, you may remember I took a picture of the way the wiring went. So I know exactly where the wires go when I put it back together because there's no way I would have remembered. Okay, so here we put the drive belt, the drive belt that goes around the drum. We hooked it up to the blower motor and the idler pulley. I can't show you a picture because it's inside, but you have to reach your hand inside here and pull up on your idler pulley. Run the belt around the pulley, I guess, or the gear for the blower motor, and then pull the idler wheel or idler pulley all the way. It's on a spring, so you have to pull it all the way and fit the, the belt around the pulley. And it should be good then. See how, if I turn the drum, the blower motor wants to turn, so we know everything's hooked up right. Okay, now we're gonna bring the bulkhead into place. First, we'll hook up this wiring here. And then we'll lift this bulkhead into place. We'll have to get the drum sitting on the either wheels properly. And then get all these tabs into place. It'll just take some fiddling around with to get it right. 
Okay, now that I have the bulkhead in place, I place a screw here, screw here, screw here, and screw here. And we have one here that we're putting in place. And we'll finish tightening these ones up. All right, now we're gonna put the front panel and door on, but first we're gonna be hooking up the wiring to the top here. And then we'll lower the panel and the door into place. Now don't forget we want these tabs to fit inside these squares. There's a couple slots down at the bottom where the bottom fits in first and then you can put these into place. Now we'll put one, two, three, four screws in and two in the front. All right, now we're almost done. We're gonna lower this door and we're gonna hook this wire up here. But I gotta bring this door in closer, or I should say the hood. Hook that up and we can close this. We'll make sure the, that these posts here go inside these holes here. There's four of them. Make sure they line up right. All right, we tested the dryer out. It's working again. The clothes are getting hot. That's exactly what we wanted. So the only problem was, was that heating element. If you like this sort of video, you want to see more like this, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.